Concrete is good because it's um, very strong under compression, but weak under tension. So um, when you have buildings that require um, strafe in this regard, concrete um, does lack you know, as, a, as a possible material um, until they invented reinforced concrete. Um, what reinforced concrete is, is essentially concrete reinforced by rebar. And rebar is short for well, reinforcing bars, that's kind of redundant. Um, but important to note is that these are steel bars. So um, if you think of uh, concrete you see as a beam, um, there's more to it than meets the eye um, because inside there's probably rebar or basically thick steel wires and that means that um, under compression um, concrete's fine. It, it, and the structure, the nature of the material makes it very good for compression such that it won't crack, it won't break. Um, but under tension, um, it's, it's brittle and it will break easily um, but then that's where the steel bars uh, within the material uh, take up that tension and um, keep the concrete from breaking. So I just want to share um, um, so the nature of this rebar. Usually it's along the concrete, um, but sometimes you'll see, if you could, see it looks like this. It's not right through the center of the concrete. It's kind of at the bottom half of the concrete for most of it, and then it bends up at the edges in a 45 degree angle. Um, so what does this mean? Well, first let's look at this. It's at the bottom because when the beam deflects under a load, it's experiencing tension on the bottom and compression on the top. And we know that concrete's fine with compression, so there's not going to be any cracking at the top here. It's going to be structurally sound. But the bottom is where there's problems, uh, where you might see cracks here because it's in actually elongating the concrete. So that's why you have rebar at the bottom um, to take up the force of the tension um, and to keep it strong. So that's why it's, it's um, situated closer to the bottom. But what about the bending of 45 degrees? Um, well, here we've got to think of the fact that um, when there's loads, they're vertical, but this is attached horizontal, so we think of those vertical forces as shear. So if we look at a very small section, let's say right here, and we blow it up, if there's a force right here, then this side of, the, of that beam is going to experience force downwards. And because it's attached to, let's say, a connection right here, um, it's going to counteract that force according to Newton's law, third law, um, by having an equal and opposite force on this side, because here's where the connection is. Now, we also know that this beam, as we drew before, is deflecting, um, but right at that um, section right here, it's deflecting downwards, because the entire beam is going to kind of look like this under the deflection, because it's welded on these sides, so they stay on their axis. So here it's bending downwards. So we get tension up here, and we have compression down here. So if you look at the forces here, you're getting pulled downwards on this side. And on this side, you're getting pushed in. Sorry, I drew this incorrectly. Tension's like this. Compression's like this. So if you add these together, it looks like these two add to 145 degrees this way and these two add to 145 degrees this way and that is tension essentially on the outsides here while these are adding to compression inwards so now if you look here you have tension out this way compression in this way well compression is fine in concrete but it's the tension that they're worried about and we know this is true because you'll tend to see cracks in concrete they kind of look like this which means that it's being separated in this 45 degree manner, which is why the rebar um, takes up a 45 degree, degree, degree angle here to counteract that tension because of shear. And finally, um, the final thing you'll probably see in terms of rebar is stirrups, which are instead of um, bars that are running lengthwise, um, they're vertical, but they're hoops. And those hoops are containing the rebars that are running lengthwise and they're keeping them together. So these keep the other rebar from pushing outwards and breaking free. So it's just like another um, protection for the concrete, which is 
containing the entire apparatus so you don't see any of the steel. So think of them as kind of like belts um, to keep everything together.